All right, hello everyone. Today we're going to be doing a video on Apex once again. Today's video is going to be about Apex Legends Season 20. Basically given my thoughts on the season after about a week of it being out. Um, overall, pretty good season. However, there's obviously a lot of things I do want to go over um, that haven't really made it that um, fun, I guess, in a way. I'm going to turn on the lobby volume. Um, so... First of all, the big features for the season are obviously the new map. The new map is really cool. I actually like it a lot. The aesthetic of the map is absolutely beautiful. However, I feel like the flow of the map is a little bit bad. Um, some people are putting a district like like a middle of the pack kind of map where it works really good for things like ranked and also possibly ELGS, but for pubs, it's a bit shit. Because basically everyone goes to the centre part of the map. And that's it. And there's not enough loot in that POI to basically accommodate all them people. But people still go there anyway. Um, so if you want to actually fight people, you literally have to go to the centre of the map. It's a lot like Fragment in that, in that way. But I, th I feel like they have definitely designed the map around this area though. The very centre location of the map. Um, because... It's huge. It's a huge POI, but it just doesn't have much loot. So I think that's the biggest drawback for this map is just like the centre POI. Everywhere leads to the centre POI. And I feel like a lot of the games might be a little bit repetitive on this map because you don't actually get to go to other like places and locations as much. Most of the time you can be fighting the centre the center POI, which I think is called Energy Bank, I think. So it's like essentially like the new fucking fragment, really, uh, for this map. So... That's my only um down the only downside for this map really um because it, it is a great map don't get us wrong it's absolutely amazing um but you know that's just how it be you know what I mean so um there's also some other things that I have noticed as well um in this game that have kind of like annoyed us a little bit um audio for for one. A lot of people are complaining about audio, and my audio has been the worst it's ever been <laughs> from any season. And it's like really making us like quite angry, to be honest. Because every time I want to actually play Apex, you know, you get that little like burst of like, oh, I want to play Apex for a little bit. I go on Apex, and then I try to play some games, and I can't hear any enemies until they're literally like five meters in front of us. And they're like, well, I can see you by then. The fucking the bloody what's it called the um the battle sense thing like the the highlight over the enemy that kicks in before I even hear the person. So I see them before I hear them, which is the complete opposite to what it should be. Um, that's how bad the audio has basically got. Now it might not have affected you as much, but it has really affected some players, including myself, and it really makes the game not fun to play right now. Um. That's why I'm making this video rather than actually playing the game because <laughs> right now it's just not fun. It's just not fun at all to play. Um, another big thing as well is um, the aim assist as well. For some reason, I don't know whether this is just like um, because I ha maybe I haven't played the game enough or whatever or maybe they've changed something. I don't, I don't know. But for whatever reason, as soon as I started playing this season, even though I previously played before this season as well quite a lot, for some reason, this season really feels weird on the aim assist. It feels like a lot of the time, you know, you, you should be hitting shots or it should be magnetising towards the enemy, which, by the way, I play on console. I should have 0.6 aim, aim assist. should be the exact same, unchanged. For some reason, it just doesn't magnetise. Or you get no regs and stuff like that all the time. It's it's very inconsistent and it's quite annoying as well because there's so many occasions where I feel like I should have killed someone normally, but they just end up being alive on like one health or like ten health or whatever. And it's like I feel like it's a lot of the time down to aim assist being a little bit off for some reason. It just feels different. I don't know how to describe it. It feels a little bit different and a lot of other people are expressing that same opinion as well. Another big thing as well is battle sense, like how I just went over before. The battle sense uh, thing that basically just got released this season, it has two different counterparts. There's a highlight over the enemy whenever they are really close to you. That part I think is really, really good. That part I think should actually stay in the game because it actually makes sense. You know, if you're if you are very close to an enemy rat uh, or something, you can actually see them. 
it actually helps with the ratting in the game without needing like a, a recon character, for example. It actually helps out with that, uh, first of all, but also it makes tracking people close range easier as well, um, which is especially good for mouse and keyboard players who have a lot of um, visual clutter on the screen, whereas obviously console also has that, but we have aim assist to kind of help with that a little bit. So it is a nice little buff to PC players a little bit. Uh, so that part of the battle sense is very good. However, the other part of the battle sense where basically you have like the health bar and stuff, a lot of people have been complaining about that because it removes a lot of the um, the skill, I guess you could say, in knowing what, what health your enemy is at. However, I personally disagree with that. I think personally, it's really good, especially for like ranked and stuff, when you have teammates that don't really listen or they don't really believe what you say when you say, oh, the one shot and stuff like that. At least they can now actually see if they're looking at the same enemy that if they shoot them, they're going to be one. You know, you can actually fully be, con you can be fully understanding and know that you've got that person to one bullet. You now know that because it has a health bar over them. There's now no confusion on how much health that person has. You know how much health that person has. Um, so I think it's a really good change. Um, of course, recon characters do really um, get a benefit from the whole recon thing. Uh, the recon passive that they have works really well with all these new battle sense features. Uh, so the recon class is actually a really good class now. Whereas before, I feel like a lot of the characters in the class just didn't really feel like recon. They just felt like... He has a scan midway through the fight, and then that's it. <laughs> Whereas now I actually feel like I am very much highlighting the enemies. I know where people's positions are. I can actually track them and things like, and things like that. Um, so overall, I think that's a good change. However, the one downside is the damage numbers. The damage numbers are off-center, and it's really been fucking with us. Especially when, you, when you're trying to um, fully kill someone, uh, when they're downed. For some reason, the damage numbers just disappear. Or they like go somewhere else on the screen. They don't actually like appear where they normally do, where like your crosshair is. Um, they just appear above the enemy, which is weird when you down when you try to finish a down character, a uh, down uh, enemy. So it's a little bit weird. Um, overall, but maybe that might change. I don't know. Overall, as well, it's just like a good change. But you can actually turn this stuff off though. You can turn off. Where is it? Is it enemy highlight? So you can turn off the enemy highlight. Uh, I think you might be able to turn Yeah, enemy health bar as well. You can turn this off. Um, this plays overhead health bar for three seconds with damage and opponents. You can turn that off as well. Um, I think, honestly, it's better to keep them on. But it is a little bit confusing, though, for the damage numbers. Hopefully they do change that a little bit because it is very confusing. And I hope they do that. Anyway, so let's move on to the next one. Um... And that has got to do with the new mode. So, when they actually released this season, the thing that really pissed me off is, first of all, no duos. There's no duos anywhere. Second of all, they they obviously had the new map on for, like, how long? They're going to probably have on for a week or something uh, before they take it off and then obviously put it into a map rotation. Um, however, alongside the new map being put into rotation... They've also added a new mode called Trio's Revival, which I believe will also be getting their Straight Shot Revival as well soon. I think that's a bad choice. I think they should, which they should have waited for people to get used to the new map, uh, how it how it plays, how it flows, for like a week or two, um, so people actually know how the map plays, and then add this whole Revival mode. I personally don't like the new Revival mode. Well, I kind of I do for, for some reasons. I like the fact that you can get back in the fight, straight away however the respawning feature is a little bit fucked up <laughs> in a, a little bit it kind of pisses us off sometimes because basically if you have one bad teammate that just keeps dying or doesn't really fight anyone um at all which if you don't know if you damage someone kill someone fully kill someone that uh, that basically takes off your revival timer uh, so if someone's like you know dead it'll take off the, the the huge timer that they have before they can respawn again so if you have a bad teammate that doesn't want to fight anyone or keeps dying or whatever which by the way dying adds to the timer um if you have one of them teammates 
you are actually they are actually bringing you down bringing you down with them in a way because if you finally die after doing like 2000 damage which has happened numerous times for me i've had an actual really good game but i've just died out of nowhere because someone's had no audio for example um i die and then i want to respawn i've got like a 60 second or maybe 90 second timer for the first death that i have all because one of my teammates has continuously died and not helped damage anyone so the timer's just been going up and up and up and up and now i have to face the consequences of, of my teammate not actually doing anything that is the part that is really annoying is that the timer is not based on your skill it's based on the team's skill which i think is really stupid um, I think they definitely need to change that. I feel like, you know, the first death should be like, say, five seconds. Your second death should be 15. The third death should be 30. Then the fourth death should be 60. You know what I mean? Like, so it increasingly, increasingly gets worse and worse. But of course, your team can then do damage and whatnot to then bring you back faster. But ultimately, the, the extent of how long that timer is, is due to your, you know, output in the game how many deaths you've had i think that works better to be honest i don't think it should be based on the actual team's performance i just think people can just bring you down overall so anyway that's just my opinion on that because i think it's quite annoying um and the fact that it's the only mode really on right now obviously we have ranked which i've played a little bit but overall it's like i don't really like playing ranked um it's just like Especially in bronze and silver, a lot of the teammates don't listen to you. They don't really communicate. They don't do any of that. They just kind of like do their own thing, and I feel like it's just really annoying. Um, so out of the two, I would rather play the new revival mode because you know I can get more kills. I can play for longer and stuff like that. But then once it hits that threshold of like ninety second fucking revival times, it's like I may as well just go on TikTok and fucking watch some bloody videos because it's gonna take that long to fucking get back in the game and it just kinda of turns us off at that point. So I don't know. For me personally, I think they've got like only two modes. Whereas like last season we had like a fucking billion different modes. I feel like it's a bit weird. They should have had Duo's Revival. I personally think Duo's Revival would work better. Um, than trios because in trios you have to kill three people before someone respawns i think it just doesn't work like that if duos i think would work way better you need to basically just if you've killed one you just need to find one other person um so i think it works a little bit better now another thing as well is the user interface this is something i, I, I often talk about quite a lot on apex is the ui and the improvements needed for the UI. This is definitely a really big improvement. Don't get us wrong. The battle pass. But. It is still a little bit confusing. So let's just take it. For, like first of all. We have level 10. And I'm on console by the way. So it's a little bit different. But basically I can go right stick right here. To go across all the levels. This is all level 10. Up to level 10. Then I can go down on the right stick. To go to level 20. I think it's like here. Then down again. To go to level 30. Then level 40, then level 50, then level 60. So, in a way, it is quite intuitive. However, it could be a lot better, honestly. I think a lot of people can, can agree. It could be a lot better. I think when a lot of people first loaded up this Battle Pass screen, it's like there's a lot of everything here, and it's just very confusing. Whereas before, it was just, here's the track, that's it. <laughs> Buy some levels, that was it. Whereas now we'll have all these different like screens and everything that we'll have to click on and stuff like that. And it's just it's all very confusing. I feel like if they just removed all this uh, off to the side here, all this here, and just had the entire screen be this, it would look a lot better. Uh, for me personally, it is a lot confusing. It's a lot more confusing than normal. Um, and the whole scrolling as well, especially on console, just doesn't really feel that nice. I feel like a lot of the time, I personally like, prefer just having it all on one screen so I can just view it with the cursor rather than having to go up and down these different pages and scroll along and everything like that. It's all very confusing and I feel like someone also watching like a live stream or something or a video on Apex it is also very confusing especially for new players. Like okay so what's in this battle pass? Oh well there's this and then oh I need to go to this next page and oh there's that right okay okay cool and then oh if I want to click on something well it brings up a different page and then oh where am I again? It's a lot it's a lot. 
<laughs> that's the main thing so hopefully they do change that a little bit obviously they have this page here for the for the badges as well and um don't know what the fuck this is all about news feed inbox don't know why it brings up that is that just like you also have weekly challenges as well i think honestly they should have the challenges tab here integrated into the battle pass page it doesn't make sense we'll have a different thing here but then we can access it from here anyway you know i feel like that this this should be here <laughs> like that this right here these little cards where it says dailies and um, premium battle pass and weeklies should be like a rotating card right here where you can go like swipe to the right swipe to the right swipe to the right to go to the different types of challenges and then click on it and then it brings you into the, the challenges that would work way better rather than having a completely different tab for challenges and then the battle pass. I would prefer that more. Clear all this up because you have the fucking the right stick that you can go up and down with here. Um Yeah, this is just this just isn't needed. Unless this is only here because PC needs it, but then again you can just use a, a button to go up and down. I don't know. It's very confusing. Um I think it might even be worse for PC because you would have to click this little fucking bar right here to go to the right. That's even worse. Anyway, that's just my opinion on that. Because <laughs> I really care about the UI. It looks a lot better, but it just doesn't feel better. Um, I think that's the big, th like the big takeaway. And the last thing I want to go over as well is... You might have noticed that the treasure packs have actually disappeared. There's no more treasure packs in the game. Even though that wasn't actually mentioned anywhere on the patch notes or nothing... Um, which I'm actually currently in the middle of a video basically assessing if the new battle pass or the rewards for the new season are actually better. You actually get more because they removed the treasure packs, which if you guys remember, that was like 45 different rewards, you know, crafting materials, battle stars, treasure, uh, apex packs, loads of them rewards that they just essentially removed from the game. You can't get them anymore. Um, which I think is a little bit stupid because I, I've got a feeling that there's actually less rewards you can get now in one season um, than previous seasons. We'll have to see though, but I'm going to do the whole calculations. I'm going to you know, use season 20 um, as like the baseline of how many rewards you get. Um, and I'm going to see if there's actually more rewards this season because we're paying the same amount of um, you know Apex coins for these battle passes. Did they actually give you more though? That's the big question. Obviously, there's two battle passes in a season, but you're paying the same amount of money, so you should get the same amount as a normal battle pass. So we'll have to see. Uh, I'll do all the calculations. But uh, yeah, that's basically what I want to talk about in this video. There's a lot of, obviously, complaints and stuff, but overall, a really good season. I feel like the biggest... Um, fun factor for the season is a lot of the characters like Vantage and Rampart that have got that are normally very bad characters that no one really plays that much but these characters have got like a second wind in a way where they're actually really fucking good now um, other characters like Seer as well is are basically back to where they were before um, in the meta which is good because I don't really feel like Sia is actually OP right now. I think his, his passive works like how it was before. His tactical now actually has a lot more use. But his ultimate isn't really as powerful as it was before. Which I feel like the ultimate was in a way the kind of best part of his kit in a way I would say before. Whereas now it doesn't really do much. It just kind of like helps out a little bit with tracking people but it doesn't really do much. Um... But yeah, there's a lot of characters that you can use now that I would feel are very much better. Rampart is really fucking good right now. I love playing Rampart. I used to love playing Rampart before. Obviously, I've been getting a lot of kills on uh, other characters as well. Um, but Rampart is still be main, still be main character. And I definitely feel like if you haven't tried out Rampart this season, you definitely should. Because she is fucking OP. Um, but yeah, just want to go over the, all this uh, different type of stuff because there's a lot of good things this season, but also quite a lot of uh, negative things that people complain about. And I definitely think that respawn should have a um, a few questions to be answered here um, about this season and whether some of these changes should be walked back on um, and whether 
Whether we can actually get an audio fix, because that would be very helpful right now. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.